Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and welcome back to another episode of Astrologian Solos. So, I say Astrologian Solos, it may just be Astrologian gets soloed at this point. Because Dragon's Neck, Earth's Fountain, Big Keep. Big Keep, I'm actually somewhat curious about, because Big Keep may be possible. Uh, but Dragon's Neck and Earth's Fountain, Earth's Fountain, there's no way. Sangatol is going to destroy me. Dragon's Neck, I'm also pretty sure there's no way I'm going to be able to do it. So I think these next three are kind of folly. Uh, but yeah, just for the sake of saying I was gonna, I'm gonna go down the list and do every single one of them. I figure I might as well. There, this is, I can already look. I've just remembered there's two bosses here. I'm not gonna, I completely blocked out of my mind that there were two bosses here. I'm not even kidding. I, <laughs> I forgot to even consider that. Ugh. All right. This is gonna be fun. Typhoon, it's hard as fuck, too. People hate it when I call it Typhoon. It's Typhon or Chapon, whichever one you prefer, but... Wow, I got one. All right. I'm just... I'm not even gonna wait. <laughs> I got the crit already. Th there's no way this ends well. Like, I... Ugh. I guess I'll go after Ultros first. He's gonna hit me up grind. That's, and he also has the sneeze attack. I didn't even consider that. This is, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> it is not gonna, Then they hit me for... Oh, God. He hits me for 13. Funga. It would probably help if I actually knew the timings of the fight, too. Like, that's another... Oh, God. Yeah, see? It's this. Like, I have no faith in being able to beat this part. Look how much damage I'm taking. Yeah. I immediately got... <laughs> Well, at least the good news is, unlike the last video, I found out very quickly whether or not I could solo it. With Echo? No, we're not. I, mean, I can't even survive till Echo. Actually, that's not true. I may be able to survive till Echo, but it wouldn't help. I'm still going to get destroyed once I'm in Imp form. Alright, Earth's Fountain. This will be another quick one. Astrologian gets soloed. The, the next one I should be able to attempt to beat is Ifrit Hard Mode, realistically. If in hard mode, I can beat. I beat it with a 190 weapon. I just, I didn't do it in the last video. I couldn't have. No, because I did Chimera. I was just going just straight down the list. Yeah. Oh my god. This is just not going to end well for anyone. Can I just get the embarrassment over immediately? Like, do I seriously even have to roll the card? The only thing is, I know I'll survive the first 5% because he's not going to do Sangatol until that, like, around that point. The problem is. I'm not going to get very much past that point. He's just going to kill me with autos on, before Sangatol. Actually, if I seriously wanted to survive Sangatol, I may have wanted to try Nocturnal. Diurnal's really good for soloing because you don't need to really do much. Like, I can, like, you know, he'll break my stone skin and then I'll, um, I'll at least have the regen. So he starts doing Valknut at, like, 98. Every single one of his attacks, like, his rotation happens, like, literally almost everything happens at a certain percentage. Like, he's got so many up... No, remember when they said it was 95? Okay, I'm fucking dead. Oh my god, I lived. Is this possible? Okay, now the other issue. Issue number one was me surviving Sangital. <laughs> issue number two will be the DPS check. <laughs> Which, um... Yeah. Not so confident in that, in beating that DPS check, guys. Yeah. He's gonna sang it on me right now, isn't he? No. What an asshole. I think he phased, I think that's why. Oh man. It's not gonna end. Oh well I can disable it. No, just run away. See? Easy. I thought it were <laughs> I thought he didn't sang it on me for a second. Or that he wasn't going to sang it on me for a second. I, was, I honestly thought maybe I had figured out a way to solo it. Well, I'm gonna know this fight better than anyone else at this point. Oh yeah, and I don't even want to imagine what happens with Gungnirs when you hit that, if you can possibly hit that. Hit that all on the flow, smack that. This is not gonna end, oh, yep. Yeah. So if I had used um, Collective Unconscious, I actually would've survived there. 
But I mean, let's be real here. That fight's that's not gonna happen. This is gonna happen in six minutes. Like, I think that's I think that's enough to see that with all that, that's probably not gonna happen. The proper if I if I stone skin myself from full health, I actually can survive every single Sangatol. Like I, if, as long as I remember in my head when Sangatol is coming, that actually is it's survivable every time. And with more gear, it would be consistently survivable without mitigations. Period. I still can't beat it though. All right, and then big keep. <sighs> this one. You know, this one, I'm trying to remember what is really going to stop me here. I'm thinking web is probably going to be the worst thing. Web is the one where he, like, slows your movement speed, your attack speed. And then, of course, when you get turned into an actual chicken. Those are the only two things I'm worried about here in the first encounter. In the second encounter, it's the dragon heads. And honestly, I'm not that concerned about the dragon heads. Some people might be thinking, well, what about Gilgamesh's cleave in the second phase? It's hard as a truck. A lot of people don't know that you can dodge that cleave. Uh, by just stepping to the side when he starts casting it. it. You can actually dodge most of the hits. Why am I not drawing cards so I can at least have something? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to save that. <laughs> oh, well. I kind of wanted to start with a card, but since I already drew that. Okay, which one do I? I kill Enki Dude first in this one, yeah. Yeah, and also, again, two bosses, so... Oh, arrow too. I could dodge arrow too. That makes things a little easier. I'm actually dodging a lot of the attacks. I'm surprised they. Oh yeah, that's right. It was a crit. All right. So far, so good. How long before this goes to complete shit? There's got to be a point where it, I just, I'm immediately boned, like, there's always a part where I'm just in web. Ugh, oh, that sucks. Can I get rid of the slow and not the heavy and still be okay? Yeah. Because it's just the DPS loss of slow. Not even the D, just the GCD, like, is, ugh, oh, awful. Also, is he, he can't mini me with only one person alive. There's no way. Mini me. Eh. Yeah, so he also can't do that. And as long as... You know what's another thing I haven't really been doing? That probably could have saved me a lot of time and a few YouTube comments. Making sure they stand in front of me. Yeah, he can't. He can't mini-me here. But he's still got to be able to chicken me. Oh, God. That might have hit me. Well, that attack is easy to dodge. Eerie sound. If that hits me, that's that's absolute GG. Arrow 2 really hits that weak? I mean, I know I have the bull on right now. So far, it's not going so bad. If the chicken happens at 70, now I'm doing, remember the thing I did last episode with friggin' Big Keep? I'm thinking the same thing now. Because I'm gonna need full mitigations to survive when I get turned into a chicken. Like, there's, it's hands down, I'll need to have mitigations. It's not even one of those things where it's like, no, nah, maybe they won't do that much go, because I'm pretty sure it shrinks your max health, too. We're doing all right. I'm using a lot more MP here than I needed to, though. I'm not conserving MP very smart. I'm just gonna start using Malphic One. I mean, realistically, I am. It's kind. Of, it's the same deal as it was before. I'm overhealing. Oh, that actually. Uh, this might be the transition. Am I immune to those? Th oh shit! After the third one, I'm immune to it. Oh, yep, see, my max health's only 9k now, and I'm this way for 20 fucking seconds. Oh, oh, I forgot about, yep. So, with regens, though, maybe? Does he shoot more than one of those? Mm, what the f- Yeah, with, if you know what, if I time my regens there, I think I can do that. Oh, wait, turbulence was because I didn't hit the, the wind things. Oh, if I stop to do the wind things, I'm so fucked. This might actually be doable. I'm I'm thinking of strategies in my head now that I may come back to. Um, I think this one is possible. I think if I had timed a triple hot there, 
in the in that phase that even if I had just completely ignored the turbulence, I may have been able to survive because I only did what 4,800 damage and I had like 3,000 something and I only got one regen tick after taking the missile hit. So if I timed the missile hit, no, I mean, if I timed the transformation into a chicken with literally my third hot, then I think I can do that. That's something I'll have to mess with a little bit more later. That's something that's going to actually take my, like, concentration to figure out exactly what the timings are. But that was actually a good learning experience. Okay, the next one I can do. This this one should be pretty... I don't want to say easy, but this one should be pretty doable. In fact, I know it's doable because, like I said, I did it at 190. We want to at least get one kill in this video. When we get the second coil, that's where all kills get thrown out the window. The bowl. Where is it? There it is. Wow. That's been happening a lot. I just keep getting the crit, like, as soon as we start. And then I don't even bother waiting to get a card draw. Also, if it's scaled to, like, I should probably be up against the wall. He's just going to knock me back. I know I can actually stun the, the eruptions. I just thought about it. I'm not going to because they're so easy to dodge, but I would prefer to not use that spear. All right. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. Seriously? These card draws, man. Yeah, this is this is kind of reminding me of Chimera. And I mean, the thing, Ifer comes right after Hydra, so if I... Yeah, he's like on a similar gear level. Alright, he's gonna mini phase right here in a second where he start I think he starts doing uh, eruptions. Uh, no, maybe he starts doing eruptions at 85. I'm trying to remember if he has a rotational change at 90. I think he speaks every time he has a rotational change. No, yeah, at 90 he starts doing eruptions. Alright, I'll take that. As far as I'm concerned, that is a DPS increase. Oh, there's... Yeah, I even forgot about this. Like, I can stone skin between jumps and shit. Eventually, he's gonna give me so... Dude, that's gonna give me so many cooldowns. Oh, yeah, this... I should've just done this as Warrior. <laughs> My I-190 Warrior would have no issue to... Re oh, no, that was an auto attack that hit me. Okay. I saw myself take damage at the same time that the eruption went off. That was just an auto attack. I also don't feel the need to really use light speed. Like, I can get an extra GCD in if I use light speed properly. That's, it's really weird that you use light speed for DPS a little bit as a sol when you're soloing, just because you don't want to sit there not DPSing and you technically don't want to click it off either. Because <laughs> you are still saving MP at the very least. Uh, I'm actually going to save that too. I don't mind having these ewers. And if I do that correctly, then. I actually can save my Luminous Aether here for a little bit until my next card draw. It's really nicely timed sometimes when I just have my instant cast hots to cast. Instant cast hots to cast. Phase? Is phase at 75? Oh, well, he's still in one phase. Yeah, like right here. Also, the fact that he can be stunned is pretty big. I don't even... Like, I should just be using Disable, I guess, just because why not? Like, I mean, yeah, I took less damage there. It means it was useful, right? Yep. That would have been a good time to use Lightspeed for deeps. Alright, we should be phasing right now. He shouldn't get to his next jumps yet. He just double incinerated me. That's rude as, that's rude as hell. And triple eruption. Here is where it's absolutely <laughs> worth doing. Yeah, I can. You can DPS a lot more after this too. Then it should be another set of triple eruptions right here. And then outside, and then inside plumes. Yep. I'm gonna back up a step. <laughs> Wasn't sure. And then jumps, I think? I don't remember. Yep, he actually does do jumps. He has two jumps here. Or two Ifrits per jump. 
Well, I'll keep that again. I don't need it as much here, but still, I don't need that either. Oh, what the hell am I doing? I could have just used an extended ure there instead of wasting my uh, my spread. I forgot I had saved that arrow that I had used, uh, the one prior. Alright. And then we get plume on the outside. Round the outside, round the outside. Alright. Eruption. No. Actually, I didn't even need to do what I just did. Okay, that's gonna be nail phase. I'm gonna hope the next card is a. Ba I don't need the balance because even if one nail survives, I think I can still live. I'm pretty sure you can still survive with one nail alive. We'll, <laughs> we'll probably find out very soon. Well, at least he never has stun immunity like this, because I can only stun him once every two minutes. The warrior, I would ruin that shit. Oh, it's like the game heard me. I'm not gonna lie, I guys, I think I might have ESP. Is it, e is it ESP? <laughs> it's not EPS, right? It's it's ESP. N. All right. Hey, don't do that. God damn it. He's really annoying. <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably be better off just Yeah, I just I guess I could just full dot them and then uh he interrupts. Ugh. What a knobhead. Yeah, I guess. How many I guess the question is how many GCDs do I want to spend doing something that's not damage? I think it'll just die to dots. It might. It's gonna be pretty close. Yeah, it'll die to dots. They, those two dots alone are seven percent. Yeah, I think I'll kill all but one nail. I think I don't have. Yeah, okay, all but one. This is this is survivable though. I think this does like nine thousand or something. Oh, okay, or it does four thousand. Never mind. <laughs> Remember when I said, oh man, it's it's survivable, all right? Yeah, it's survivable. It's a joke is what it is. And then he's going to immediately jump after the third one explodes. Right there. Hey, perfect. The stone skin's kind of a waste of that thing. I'll be honest. It's a little bit of a waste. Like, yeah, it's great that I don't take damage for a few seconds here. It's also not needed. I'm gonna try and stun the eruption here. See if I can get some more deeps. Got him! Yeah, that way I don't have to move. And I can extend both an Ur and the Luminous Aether. And that's it. That's the whole fight. Although I'm not happy that it took me that... Oh, what the hell? That it took me that long to shut off 10% of his health. I could have definitely done more. Alright. Uh, let's use light speed here. Because I'm going to have to be moving a lot. Yep, that's why. Get some extra deeps out like this. <laughs> I don't need to be running in this much of a circle, but I like running in that much of a circle. By the way, as much as I said the stone skin's not needed, I'm still going to do it. Makes me feel safe. Dude, Garuda. I'm thinking about Garuda. That does not sound like it's going to be... That might need Echo. No. Really? No, not Garuda for Echo. I don't think so. This conversation I'm having with myself must be fascinating, you guys. Does he know that he's in a room by himself? Guys, come on. I do this for a living. Come on. You guys know me? Oh. Well, I hope you do at this point. Kind of weird, right? And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's not even close. It's not even close. There we go. That's what I wanted the first time. I gotta admit, he has more health than... I think he has like 400,000 health or something. Somewhere in that vicinity. 
I also haven't had to use, like, he just does so little damage. Like, I never feel like it's a good time to use Disable. Not even like it's not even a good time, it's just, like, it's ever needed. Like, I cast one healing spell every so often. It's like, obviously, maybe I could cast it, maybe I get one more GCD. Maybe these Disables are costing me GCDs because I'm not doing them. Like, he's just going to swipe me once here. It's Seer that breaks most of my stone skin. Like, that is what breaks the majority of my stone skins. I guess maybe I should have been paying attention to when he uses Incinerate. <laughs> that probably would have helped me determine, like, does he use it right here? Before he... Nope, he's just going to eruption me. That was terrible. The only good news is he's not going to chase me very... Well, he's going to chase me. Just not immediately. And everywhere but right under him. Yeah, I guess when he's not up against the wall, it makes that weird shape in the middle of the room. Okay, so right here technically would have been the best time. Oh, please give me the, the hot. I don't think I got the hot. I didn't get the hot fucking server ticks. That was literally like 2.9 seconds, and it was going to give it to me on the third second. That cost me like three GCDs of damage, too. Sadness. Much sadness. Can you, like, give me one balance and... Alright, well. <laughs> it's not a balance, but... I guess I'll take it. Alright, we're gonna light speed his deeps here. Well... Yeah. I was gonna say, actually, I don't need to light speed here because I have two dots I need to recast. And honestly, it's kind of a waste... That was actually a wasteful, a wasteful light speed. Because I used that time to cast two instant cast dots. Not a very good use. One would argue using any damage during light speed is not good. I would argue, shut your mouth. It works good in solo. <laughs> I would argue, shut your mouth, yeah. Very mature of you, Happy. Mm, one more, nope. Why, hello there. And boom. All right, and it's just full DPS for the rest of the fight. I'll just give, I'll successfully give myself the hot this time. Yeah, take him a little bit longer for his radiant plume here. Come on. Just die. Don't make me move. I could probably just stand in these eruptions. I'm just gonna do it. Fuck it. They do like thir I didn't have to move the whole fight! That does like 1300 damage! I could have just disabled them. Alright. Well, guys, if you solo it, just don't even bother. <laughs> don't even bother moving out of that. That's a- that was a- I could have stood in every single one of them. Well, now I feel like a numb nut. Somebody, again, was definitely yelling at their screen like, Dude, they do like- a thousand damage you don't need to move and be like man uh, no so what do we have left we have garuda all right so i can definitely do garuda I, whether or not i need echo i don't know yet but i could definitely beat garuda titan no i can't there's just no way he's gonna jail me as soon as he jails me it's done thorn march hard i think i did solo thorn march hard already i don't i needed i think 30 percent echo when i did it leviathan hard that's actually a tough one. I don't know if I can do that on Astro. I could definitely do it on Warrior, but I don't know about Astro. Uh, Ramu, I have a feeling I'm going to get fucking stomped by Ramu. Um, Shiva, I think I'll hit Enrage. I think she has an Enrage. Um, oh, no. He's going to one-shot me at five stacks. I can't kill him before five stacks. Garuda Extreme. Interesting. I'm definitely not going to be Titan Extreme, guys. I'll leave, I'll leave that to Xeno's Warrior. Ifrit Extreme... There's no way I can kill 13 nails. There's um, there's no way I can kill 13 nails in time. Um, Thorn March Extreme. Hell to the Nizzo. Hell to the Nizze. Leviathan. I don't think Extreme Primal is going to work for Astro. However, I am confident I can beat turn 1, 2, and 5. And that's it for Coil. And then we could probably get into dungeons. There's no way I'm going to be able to touch 
turn four and turn five by the way you guys are like how the fuck are you gonna solo turn five if you haven't seen it already let's just say that you turn to it that'll make sense to you when you actually google turn five white mage solo go google it you'll see and then second coil i'm gonna get shit on so hard so we have a few fights still that i can solo before i get into dungeons but anyway thank you for watching part three of astrologian solos be sure to like favorite subscribe and share and i will see you in the next part where we're gonna take on garuda hard mode anyway i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care